Hey, Harry. Oh my gosh! Ron! Ding ding. How'd you get here? I came in through the window. But we're on the second floor! Oh yeah, me, Fred, and George all stole our dad's flying car of magnificent flyitude. So let's go back to the burrow. No. You haven't written a single letter to me all summer. I did. I almost got all the way to Z. So then why didn't I get any of them? I'm Dobby, the house elf. I've been hiding all your letters, Harry. That wasn't nice. Harry! It's Uncle Vernon. I'll get it. No! <laughs> He's not gonna let me go to the burrow. Uh, Dobby, you wear my glasses, okay? You're gonna pretend to be me for the entire year, okay? Uh, okay, let's go. Now, get okay. Harry. Harry, what? Big ears you've got. So, Harry, using my stalker skills, I noticed that your broom was broken. Oh yeah, Dully sat on it. Speaking of which, how was life at the Dursleys this summer? Well... Hey guys, guess who's back? Harry, why'd you come back? We have such a good time without you, we even invited Miss Pig. So, you haven't told them that you're a wizard yet? Nah, but you know, I'll give it to it eventually. You know, maybe. Harry! You have to be quiet! I don't think they know we're here yet! We noticed. So Harry, that's my mom, and that's my dad, and that's Percy. What are you looking at? And I don't know that guy. Ronald Billius Weasley, get to your room this instant! Fred, George, sit down, I'll think of something for you later. <laughs> Who are you anyway? That's Harry Potter. Trouble. Hey, Mom, have you seen my Snuggie? Whoa! Hold up! You're... Harry Potter. <sighs> Control. <laughs> That's our little sister, Ginny. She's been writing fan fiction about you also. Where is that Bergen with his tomfoolery? Where is he? I'll be right down. Yo, Dad, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with my life. You don't have a life. And if you will have a life, you're going to be a Death Eater. Well, I don't want to be a Death Eater. I like making cookies and one-offing Harry Potter. You can do that as a Death Eater. Okay. Hello, Mr. and Mr. Malfoy. May I interest you in purchasing it off? Are, are you sure? <laughs> no, we're not going to buy anything. We're here to sell. Dark and mysterious evil is more killing and killing. Them. Like that diary. No, this is a plot device. Is it? Yes. An evil plot device. Dad! 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 What? Dad! What? I know what I want to do with my life. What? I want to be a professional one effort. I'm not sure that's actually a career. I'm not sure of anything ever. You're good. Harry! Ah! What are you doing in Horizon Alley? I got lost. Well, come on! We can go to Forks and Flats and get you some books. Are you certain I can't interest you in a vanishing cabinet? They transport you from one cabinet to another. Mm. 
ask me again in four years. This sounds pretty I, I'd like a brochure on it. No, we, we don't have brochures. Maybe a pamphlet. Oh. Gilderoy Lockhart. Gilderoy who? Gilderoy Lockhart. Okay. Then explain where I got this baby. I don't know. Smile pretty, honeys. I'm Gilderoy Lockhart. Author of Magical Me and several other books I'm sure you've all read. Me! 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 Oh, I could possibly pull this speech out to read to all of you. Why, between the two of us, we'll hang it from Hage! Click! Congratulations! You're my fourth customer! I didn't buy anything. Here you go! You get my entire collection. My entire... Collection. Whoa! And as an added bonus, I will be your defense against the Dark Arts teacher. Kill me! Free of charge. Huh. What is this? Supplies? Women learning. Huh. That's funny. 